Hello, my name is Michael Wiper and welcome to this session on the basics of brass playing. What I'd like to look at today is the difference between major tonalities and minor tonalities. So far, I hope if I've explained it reasonably well, you'll understand that in a major tonality, it's the third note in the scale that gives us the tonality. So if I start on F, and I go to G and then to A. It's that A Just bear in mind the tune Frere Jacques. Frere Jacques major scale, major tonality. Now if I alter by one semitone down that third note from A to A flat change the whole tonal quality of the scale so I now get so we change from major to minor and one of the most famous pieces of music in the classical repertoires is the symphony I can't remember which one it is now one in the Mahler symphonies where he uses the tune Frere Jacques but he actually uses it in the minor key so I hope you can begin to hear the difference between that brighter sound and this less bright probably more sombre sound so we have major chord as opposed to the major chord. It's important to understand these um, qualities and so it's worth taking some of the earlier tunes that we looked at for example Fairy Jacker and instead of playing it in the major scale I don't get rid of this play it in the minor scale. Not only, I think, in terms of what it sounds like, but in terms of the character that it creates and what then, given the character that it creates, is how you would like to use the character or the tonality. So it changes the whole concept, the whole character of a piece. So we can take any simple tune, we know this tune. So, first half in the major key, second half in the minor key. The drones that we've looked at also are really useful because if you have a drone that you can play against, you can really begin to hear the quality of that minor pull. It's a dissonance. Again, I don't want to get too technical, but it belongs to one of the upper harmonics, that minor third belongs to one of the upper harmonics. So when you're playing any particular note, it automatically gives a major chord because of the harmonic series. But that harmonic, that minor harmonic, I think it's something like the 13th harmonic, is present in the major chord whilst it's playing, so it creates a dissonance of tension. It's a really interesting concept, again, 
and, and a really fundamental idea to get your head round is major again I think it is um, Cole Porter how strange that change from major to minor so bearing that in mind we've got a little tune we're going to have a look at and it's called the Halloween March what I'm going to do is just play it through first of all and um, the way we do these things again is to have a listen to it and once we've had a listen through I'll explain it a little bit better to you so here we go stop it there for now if you listen to that tune very carefully it's got this going through it all the time which is effectively a drone except it's been broken up from being a long note into short notes so we're right back at the very first lesson again a drone is effectively a long note and this is just split into one into single beat note and that's placed in to this so that you can hear the tensions of all the other notes that are played against it and so we get the tune I'm oh, sorry and so against it all the time So that's constant all the time and so again this will be uploaded onto the website but I shall, I shall just play through the whole thing so here it goes there's that top line So I hope you can begin to hear the difference. Between the major scale. And the minor scale. And that was a natural minor scale, there's other minor scales, there's melodic minor scales, harmonics minor scales, and then there's modes and all sorts of different scales. But basically, it's the difference between the major, which is the third note in the scale, which is altered down by a semitone to create a minor scale. It's no more complicated than that. All the other colours, if you like, and that's how I'll describe them, of the scale notes are founded, are changed as a consequence 
of that third note so I could play a major scale with that minor and we create all sorts of tensions so it's worth practicing lots of different tunes <laughs> And that's a little variation, if you like, off the top of my head on the sense go marching in, but in a minor key. So, use the drones, use the drones and play major scales against it. Use the drones and change and alter that third note from major down to minor and really hear it, but not just hear it, feel it, and then transmit it through your instrument so that you are now beginning to what is known as pre-hear your sound. You are hearing BOOM if I want that major chord or BOOM if I want that minor one. So you're pre-hearing so that when you get to the instrument I'm not going to miss that note because that's the one I wanted. The difference between somebody of my, my age is that I've spent hours working this out some of you who are only at the beginning stage need to develop these uh, ideas concepts and as difficult as they may sound in the end just play tunes and then change the very simple part of the tune from <laughs> That's the major version, now still the minor one. Because there's no law says you can't play a twinkle twinkle little star in a minor key. Or Frere Jacque, Marla, like I explained earlier, used it. So play tunes and then just change that third note. And really, if you've learnt the key of C, on the euphonium or the trumpet and all you have to do is change one or two valves to two and three and you get the minor and that's all that happens you just change two and three and so it's a very simple change from but I shall explain a little bit more in one or two of the next sessions where we will be looking at whole scales rather than just fragments of scales and actually creating a, a proper academic, if you like, minor scale. So I think we should leave it there for today. But remember, it's just that simple change. Third note drops a semitone and it creates a ma a ma from a major it creates a minor chord so thank you for watching